Welcome back. Today we are going to be working on this mega base. We did a whole bunch of planning in the last episode and we've got this wireframe all ready to go, planned out where we're going to build and now we just have to actually fill in all of these walls and towers and, and an interior as well eventually. But I do also have a few farms that I need to build in this area so I want to start the episode by getting one of those farms ticked off of our list before we get too wrapped up in building this castle and I think that the mob farm is definitely going to be the biggest and most time consuming farm we're going to need to build in this area so I'd really like to just get that done and out of the way so that we can just move on and get to building. I did think about putting the mob farm inside the castle but I do really want to do an interior as well and there isn't quite any tower that's really properly big enough. I have a plan for this one, this is the only one that's kind of big enough and I already have a plan for what that tower is going to be. So I think I'm just going to build a separate building, a separate little structure and then we'll kind of just join it up to this eventually and we'll do it in the same style and everything so it will fit in with this area and I'm thinking maybe just down here we might end up doing something with this sort of dipped down area here so it would be good to have kind of an extra tower for maybe defense along here so I'm gonna just go ahead and get get to digging and get this farm built And there's our mob farm, all finished, all built, all turned on, it's all working. If we come down here we can see, well we can certainly hear that it's working and it is it is very slowly starting to work. I'm not going to bother with an AFK platform because I'm going to be around in this area all the time. So, ooh. so I'm just going to let it work while I'm in this area, I'm not going to specifically AFK. I don't think I will need to. And cobbled deep slate is kind of the base block that I'm going to be using in the castle as well so I've gone with cobble deep slate to keep it matching and yeah eventually we'll turn this into like a proper tower once I figure out how I want to join it in with the rest of the castle I haven't totally planned out the whole castle base yet I don't really know how I'm gonna join it up to the rest of the castle but we'll definitely do something down here I think and we'll be able to join it up maybe put a bit of a a wall joining up to the mountain edges maybe um, and I might just make it a bit taller because the top here is just exposed and we will definitely want to hide all of this cover this up somehow so I might just make this into a tower just a watchtower or something but yeah this is now totally complete we can leave it to just run in the background and we can go ahead and get working on the actual castle base. So I think in this episode I'm going to try and get this kind of front facade built. These are going to be two towers and then this kind of front section here where the entrance is going to go and do all of the detailing so that I can get an idea of what the rest of it's going to look like and obviously show you what it's going to look like. I don't want to start doing too much until I'm definitely sure on the details and the block palette and all of those things. Let's put away all of this mess <laughs> uh, and grab ourselves a ton of deep state. I've got basically a full shulker of deep 
cobble deep slate. I'm gonna just see how far this goes with the uh, with the front. I'm I'm hoping I'll get the front part done with with one shulker, and then we will be able to kind of figure out how much more. <laughs> couple deep slate I'm gonna need to collect in order to finish the rest of this base which I have a feeling is gonna be a lot more than one shulker box full. Let's do some building. And there we have the front of our castle. I am really happy with how this turned out. I did make quite a few kind of adjustments as I went, as you probably saw in the time lapse. And I'm glad that I did because I'm now really happy with how this has turned out. And I'm really happy with this roof gradient. I. I have said this before and I'll say it again, I love this skulk block and I think it works really well in this kind of dark magical kind of build and just really fits the theme of a magic school just so well and this skulk vein as well is just excellent for blending a gradient together like close up it looks a bit odd but when you fly away and take a look at it from a distance it really just helps blend that gradient in together and I'm really happy with this skulk to amethyst gradient that we've got for the roofs and I think that's what we will definitely be using for the rest of the roofs. I did start running out of blocks which is why I kind of stopped building here. This is definitely not finished, there's a few more bits to get done but I ran out of this blue terracotta because I was just using the stuff that I have. I, I need to go and do a full resource gathering trip at some point but I wanted to make sure that I was happy with the block choices that I have before I went and collected too much so we will definitely need to do some more resource gathering before we are able to continue building this castle mostly just for roof blocks we actually didn't use as much deep slate as i thought we would end up using i think i might also add some glow lichen up on these roofs it does snow up here and i i don't necessarily mind the snow on the roofs i think it kind of adds to the fact that it's a castle up in the up on the mountain but does settle in weird places because we've got slabs and stuff uh, so I don't like that it's kind of not consistent Oh, and I have run out already. So I'll finish doing that at some point, but I think that that will really help. And it will also make the roofs glow a little bit, which I think also will add to that kind of magical feel. I think I might wanna add something kind of some detail like under here under the edge but i'm i'm not sure if these towers are actually a little bit too small for it feel like i want to add some more light in here somehow and we will definitely need to add some windows in these towers some of the taller parts later on are also going to have some stone at the top they're going to kind of go from deep slate to stone as they get a bit higher but this front section was not tall enough to kind of fit both of those things in so the front is just going to be deep slate but some of the taller pieces in the other parts will have uh, stone at the top as well. Break up all of this deep slate because it is very, it is looking very deep slatey at the moment. Let's also just go and check on the mob farm. I haven't AFK'd at all. I've just, while I've been building, I just wanna check on how well it's doing just from me. Just from me being in the area, it looks like it's doing quite well, actually. That, that is, yep, that's definitely, 
it's definitely working. Definitely plenty of string for us to make candles. That's the main thing that I wanted this for, but also we're getting a whole bunch of gunpowder for rockets, which we will definitely need because we are not loading our other gunpowder farm over here. So that's good to have a backup source of that as well. We are definitely going to need to do some resource gathering before we can continue building this castle now. And you know, a beacon would be really useful to help with all of that resource gathering that I am gonna have to do. The problem is I do not have a single with a skeleton skull to my name, not, not a single one. So I think what we should do with the rest of this episode is head on over to the nether and see if we can get ourselves some wither skeleton skulls. You might remember that the last time I went to the nether I died in lava and uh, lost all of my stuff so I'm not particularly looking forward to going to the nether but we are going to brave it because I think a beacon is going to be super useful and I think it's high time that we we got one and fought that with a boss to get ourselves a beacon in this world. <gasps> My first one! My first... That was the first skeleton that I killed and I got a skull from it straight away! Looks like there's quite a few spawning over there this looks like quite a good spot oh and over there yep loads okay ah there's a blaze spawner there as well there's just blaze spawners everywhere a very unhelpful spot for you all to be spawning right next to a blaze spawner <laughs> that's a that's a fun bit of lava i am on fire Ooh. I was definitely not paying attention to my health at all, and that is why I died. <laughs> A second head! A second head! We got two! Just one more! Please still be there. Please be there. Please be there. Yes. Okay. Okay. Just grab the stuff. Grab the stuff and run. No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I really need to get this nether hub set up because this is not fun. <gasps> yes. There it is. The last one. I've got three. Let's get out of this horrible place so that I don't die again. Oh my gosh. Yep. Let's go home. Let's go. I'm not, I'm not even going to try and stay for even slightly longer. And I lost half of my gear. So we are, we are going home. I'm done. I'm done with this place. We are out of the nether. Let's head back to the castle and just regroup a little bit. <laughs> Looks good as we're flying up to it. Okay. So we have three wither skeleton skulls all ready to spawn the wither now but I think that we are going to save this for next episode because that was already a bit too much adrenaline for, for one episode and I did die three times and I lost um, a whole bunch of my gear and I really need to uh, regroup and fix all of my gear up. Luckily we have the villager trading hall area that we built already in this world so I can just head over there and repair up everything and and replace anything that we have totally lost but we will be back for you we will be back and we will be ready for you next episode but i am really happy with all of the building that we got done in this episode and the mob farm that we built i would love to know what you all think about this build so far and the block palette and the gradient in the roof i'm really happy with it but i'd love to know your thoughts as well any suggestions that you have and thank you once again for watching i hope you enjoyed this episode and i hope to see you in the next one ready for our wither boss fight goodbye